Hi, I'm Gordon Ellis from Chemical Engineering Progress Magazine, and we're here at the 2010 Annual Meeting in Salt Lake City. This evening, I'm pleased to be here with Dr. Harvey Blanche of the University of California at Berkeley, and uh, he is the Society for Biological Engineering's 2010 uh, James E. Bailey Lecturer. Uh, welcome, and congratulations on the lecture. Thank you very much. Um, Perhaps I can start by asking if you to say a few words about Jay Bailey and his legacy. Could you do that for me? Certainly. Yeah, Jay was actually a close friend, um, really from the time he moved from traditional chemical engineering research into biological research. And he brought with him, I, I think, um, a level of sophistication in terms of analysis, the ability to tackle problems in a very interesting way, but the ability to move quickly as the field changed. Jay was very fortunate as was I, that the recombinant DNA revolution happened just at the time we were getting into our research careers. And it provided tools that we couldn't imagine uh, in order to do a really fascinating range of, of research. And, and to your lecture, which is entitled Evolving Biological Engineering, could, could you give us a, a little flavor of what that talk is about? Sure. What I tried to do initially was uh, give a little bit of a history of biological engineering. And it really goes back a long way from traditional foods through manufacture of a number of very important products, uh, penicillin for example, acetone, butanol, all the way through ethanol production for um, gasoline replacement, uh, through to the changes that happened as a result of this genetic engineering revolution in the late 1970s. Are there, are there areas that you're particularly excited about? I think today the possibilities for medical applications are very exciting, um, as are the potential applications uh, replacing some of our traditional routes to chemicals with biological routes. And that's going to be very much predicated on cost of materials and so forth. But uh, are there any, uh, is there any message, underlying message or key points that you hope your audience takes away from the lecture tonight? Well, what has always impressed me has been the look at nature and see what nature has done uh, to solve problems. I think there's a tremendous amount of wisdom there that we could all benefit from. And so if anything, I hope the audience left with the feeling that, yes, there's, there's still a lot of things we don't know. and. Nature knows. And the, as you mentioned, nature is still a little bit ahead of us. Indeed. <laughs> he or she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'll, I'll let you go, but before, before you do go, um, are, are there any uh, sessions that you plan to attend here or uh, anything that you're looking forward to here at the annual meeting? Yeah, a lot of the sessions I'm always impressed by, it's, and it's mostly the young people that have the best ideas, and, and so they're the ones I'd like to go listen to. The old folks, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we appreciate your being here, and congratulations again on the lecture. Enjoy Thank the you. meeting. Great. Thank you very much.